back again and I have gotten all the stripes and the checks painted all the way around on the inside and on the outside I'm gonna I've already done the, the gridding with my gel pen <clears throat> and the reason I like this is because it's very forgiving and you can correct mistakes now when I paint the inside there are lots of little places where I can see the gel and with my wet q-tip I can just go clean it up get that off of there because I really don't want that to be showing through and I've pretty much done it but I wanted you to see how you do that I just dampen a q-tip and go along wherever I see any of the gel pen and get it off now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna I've already marked the stripes on the sides all the way around with the gel pen and I'm going to start painting my colors. And for the outside, it's going to be Americana Desert Turquoise. And love this color. Use it all the time because I love turquoise. Um, I have to push it up with something or I get paint on my fingers. So I'm just going to put some, a little bit of paint on the side of my bow. And we're going to use this brush. I'm going to start. I'm going to start on one of the sides and start painting the turquoise on. And hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. And down a nice stripe, and it's going to be every other one it's going to be turquoise. This is a lot of fun, as you can see, and it's not hard to do, and if you're doing your own projects, you pick your own colors, whatever will go with your decor. But I have a lot of turquoise in and around my house, so it's a favorite of mine. So now, we're almost done with one whole side with the turquoise. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to start with red every other stripe, which means when I get to the other side, I will continue with the blue, uh, starting with the blue. And then as the tray turns, it's alternating the red and the turquoise. Can you see what's happening? Did I tell you I have four children and 12 grandchildren? I may have told you that somewhere along the way. Everybody accuses me of repeating things over and over. But you know, when you're almost 76, you do that. You repeat yourself a lot. <laughs> okay, so now we have one side done and the other side done, starting and ending with the turquoise. And as I told you, on a rectangle, it's an odd number, so you need an odd number of stripes to make it work out properly. So now we're gonna clean the brush, do it on my, um, and I forgot my water. Okay, let me get it. There we go the brush and the acrylics wash out really easily the swish wish swish wish and dry real fast and then I'm ready to do the red and I'm going to use here's these are this is gloss enamels it doesn't matter whether it's gloss or not gloss uh, because I'm gonna put a finish over it in a high gloss anyway so we're gonna open this up. And this is also uh, Americana brand. All right, so I'm gonna pour the red over here on this side, try not to get it into the blue. I think that's enough. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna start with the sides of the handle, which will be a little easier this time because um, the, 
handle goes in to the inside and not to the outside so I like this on nice and thick but I have four children 12 grandchildren I have one daughter who lives in New York City and to some people she's she's famous her name is Kimmy Schwimmy she does children's music for uh, children, small children mostly, but the, ha, the teenagers love it too. Some of them do anyway. The ones who haven't gotten too high and mighty, that is. She does a summer camp every summer uh, in New Jersey with some famous kids. Some of them are anyway, or the parents are. And a lot of teenagers help out with that camp. So they get into her music as much as the kids do. Then I have a son, my one and only son, who lives in Spain on the island of Mallorca. That's a story there. He met his girlfriend, now his wife and mother of three of his children, walking their dogs in Central Park. And now they've been living Mm, about 14 years and um, on the island of Mallorca his wife's mother was an only child she inherited the estate from her mother and then now it belongs to Tommy and Emma and they run a business out of there they do a um, it's not a bed and breakfast it's just um, you have to rent it for a week at a time. Okay, we're getting close to the end of the red on this side. Okay, so now I have my red I should have on my gloves, which I don't have on uh, to show you, but I can pick it up. Got the red, and the red, and the blue, and the blue. And now I'll go back in between with the alternate color to show you. See, <laughs> I gotta grab it where it's not wet. All right, we're gonna put the red down in between the blue. and so forth and so on. I'm probably gonna stop, keep from boring you to death and finish this part. And then we'll get to the next part. As you can see, it's not hard. It's really easy. But when I get done, you're gonna love it. And it'll be something that anybody will be proud to adorn their deck, which is gonna adorn mine. Let's see here, red, we gotta go red. Love the lazy season. See how nice that is? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the red. Oh, I've got my paint out here. So, my son has lived in Spain for, I hope they don't mind me talking about him, but he's lived there for almost 14 years. They've married there, they had all Three of their children there. Their children all speak, they're multilingual. They speak three different dialects of Spanish. But English is their uh, first language. Okay, I'm going to stop and give you a break.